In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our risen Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with With your spirit. spirit. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for Mass this morning. I think it's our turn to have the grey days. I think I said to you the other day, when I was on FaceTime to my brother, it was grey there and it was beautiful here. Well, I've been in touch with Mum this morning and apparently it's a lovely sunny day in Watford and Mm -hmm. we've got this and rain Mm -hmm. incoming. So we're all getting our fair share. I'm offering this Mass for Ella O'Neill. Today we keep the feast of St Catherine of Siena. She was born in Siena in Tuscany in 1347 as the 25th, yes, 25th child of a wool dyer. Catherine Benincasa received the habit of the Third Order of St Dominic at the age of 16, continuing to live at home. Her sanctity attracted a number of followers who became known as the Catherinati, of whom she was a sort of leader. She became known for her work among the poor of Siena and for the successful conversion of hardened sinners. At heart, she had a special care for the unity and the welfare of the church. She was instrumental in persuading (coughs) Pope Gregory IX to abandon Avignon, where the papacy was in exile, and return to Rome. She tried to heal the great schism of the West, rallying all of Italy around Pope Urban VI. She left over 500 letters and a dialogue which is one of the most remarkable mystical works of all time. She was canonised in 1461 and declared Doctor of the Church in 1970 and she is co-patroness of Europe. For today we're going to ignore Brexit because it says in the Missal that those who are um, in Europe say the Gloria today, um, as far as geographically concerned, we are still part of Europe so we're going to say the Gloria. So as we begin our celebration in honour of St Catherine of Siena, we pause to call to mind our sins. I confess to to Almighty God God, and to you, my brothers brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people, participating in the mystery of Christ, may ever exult in the revelation of his glory, who is alive and reigning with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. I forgot to set the uh, weekday missile for today's reading, so I'll just do that and then hand it over to Sheila.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. This is what we have heard from Jesus Christ and the message that we are announcing to you. God is light. There is no darkness in him at all. If we say that we are in union with God while we are living in darkness, we are lying because we are not living the truth. But if we live our lives in the light, as he is in the light, we are in union with one another and the blood of Jesus his Son purifies us from all sin. If we say we have no sin in us, we are deceiving ourselves and refusing to admit the truth. But if we acknowledge our sins, then God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and purify us from everything that is wrong. To say that we have never sinned is to call God a liar and to show that his word is not in us. I am writing this, my children, to stop you sinning. But if anyone should sin, we have our advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, who is just. He is the sacrifice that takes our sins away, and not only ours, but the whole world's. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, My soul give thanks to the Lord. My soul, give thanks to the Lord. My soul, give thanks to the Lord. All my being, bless his holy name. My soul, give thanks to the Lord, and never forget all his blessings. My soul, give thanks to the Lord. It is he who forgives all your guilt, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. My soul, soul, give give thanks thanks to to the the Lord. Lord. The Lord is compassion and love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. His wrath will come to an end. He will not be angry forever. My My soul, soul, give give thanks thanks to the Lord. Lord. As a father has compassion on his sons, the Lord has pity on those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are dust. My soul, soul, give give thanks thanks to the Lord. But the love of the Lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear. His justice reaches out to children's children when they keep his covenant in truth. My My soul, soul, give give thanks thanks to the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Alleluia. Alleluia. <clears throat> the Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. (coughs) Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. (laughs) 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that, instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St Catherine of Siena and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop, his assistant bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. 
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour. Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <clears throat> the body of Christ. The blood of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Let us pray. 
May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm off on my travels again today. So uh, tomorrow morning I'll be celebrating in Kilcullen Parish in County Kildare in Ireland. So that will be a live stream. So what I will do, I will put a link to the live stream, which will be tomorrow morning at 9.30. I will put a link to that in the description for this Mass. And then on Wednesday it should be back to normal. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Many thanks for joining me for t Mass today. Take care. Bye. God bless. Hope you have a good day. See you soon.